Hi, for any of you that are following my story, my name is Wendy, and um, I had a, an ultrasound done, and they found a nodule in my right breast, and I have to wait until June 30th to get an ultrasound with a biopsy. I am, however, going to call my doctor on Monday to see if there's any way at all I can have the, um, the test done someplace else where I could find out sooner what's going on because, you know, I kind of like to know what's going on. Um, and I'm trying to distract myself and find other things to do um, to keep my mind occupied and busy, so I am decided to make a vlog. And that was one of the things that I wanted to do before, but I just kept putting off. Um, so, um, I'm into radionics and psionics and rifing. I did radionics on my dog, Maya. So let me find her. Where is she? She's washing herself. There she is. She's washing herself. Anyway, so um, Maya had. Sorry, let me adjust my stuff. Uh, Maya had a lump on uh, on her chest. I think it was her chest area. I think, or maybe it was her upper leg chest area, I can't remember exactly, um, several months ago she had this, and it was about the size of like a golf ball, and it was very hard. Um, she had one once before and she had it removed, and she doesn't do that well under anesthesia because of, well, she's never done well under anesthesia, uh, waking up from it. It doesn't matter if it's the, um, the human kind or not, she just has issues with it. So I set up a radionics device with the intention that it would um, basically make it go away. I, I wrote on a piece of paper, I still have the piece of paper, that I wanted it to decrease in size until gone. And I also thought in my head that something that I added was I actually really, literally wanted it to turn into a scab and, and fall off. Well. It actually did decrease in size, and it did turn into a scab, and um, I actually had to cut this off of her because um, it was it was stuck to her fur, but it's it's still hard. I know it's gross, I'm keeping it, but it's just, I'm still amazed that I, I saw this, this lump shrinking in size, and I was trying all sorts of things to try to make it go. I was doing like, um, uh, what was I doing? I was trying uh, magnet therapy, I was doing Reiki on her, um, uh, I did something where you, I forgot who it's by, it's by a French person, you repeat the same phrase over and over, like, um, every day in every way I'm getting better and better, well I just kept repeating every day in every way, this is getting smaller and smaller. I also did um, some other type of energy work on her, where you use numbers, so I took numbers and I shoved those in the radionics machine to try to help her as well, but nothing seemed to be working until I did this decrease in size until gone and that I wanted it to turn into a scab and fall off. And I'm still amazed that that happened. Um, I also injured my my left knee again and I thought, oh God, I retore a ligament in it that I tore years ago. And I did radionics on it immediately. And the thing is, I I use KRT um, personal analyzers. Uh, here they are. I did another video about my instruments, but I was not sober, so I don't even remember exactly what I said. I was trying to do an instructional video while drunk, which totally made sense at the time. I'll post those up for fun later. But anyway, so I did my um, my KRT units. Uh, I had one going on my, uh, my dog and one going on me for my leg. And I set everything up completely wrong because I was just thinking, oh my god, I for my dog I was worried, you know, is it cancer or something? Because it felt like a hard tumor again and I was worried about that. And then for me, it was just like I had the same exact pain again of when I tore ligaments in my leg the first time around. And uh, it took me like over six months for my leg to heal. And I was in a, a knee brace for a long time. So I have decided I am going to use my radionic device to um, 
set up a trend, and I've already written them out, that um, one is going to be um, decrease, in, decrease nodule and right breast until gone, and the other one is, I wrote, I'm cancer free. So uh, I'm going to put those in the well and get rates for them and then test the general vitality to see if they're running okay or if I need to do something else. I'm also going to throw some Reiki in there as well. Um, now, uh, these are KRT analyzers. Uh, most people buy these and use them for agriculture, um, different purposes, whether it's uh, the farm animals or insects that have tried to take over the, um, the crops. Uh, you could probably learn more about it and get a better understanding at it. Um, Kelly Researcher Technologies, they, they could explain it better than I can. Um, but anyway, you can use it for other things like, um, you know, like manifesting something you want. Um, it is working with subtle energy. You cannot heal or cure anyone. Um, it's against the law unless you're a doctor to do that. And even doctors can't necessarily heal or cure. They can cut stuff out and help you as best they can. But with anything, it doesn't hurt to have something a little extra. It's almost like taking um, multivitamins to help boost your immune system. So in a sense, what I'm doing is just adding a boost to try to help um, make my outcome successful, which is I would like the nodule to go away completely and I, without surgery, and uh, I would like to, you know, be completely cancer-free and not have cancer. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, I also have a, um, a signal generator to send waves, so I'm doing a little bit of rife. Oh, sorry, I didn't switch. my signal generator. There's my signal generator. So I have my signal generator set uh, to 2128, which is a frequency that will potentially, you know, uh, send energy to any type of cancer and get rid of it. And there's Aria, my cocktail, helping me out. Uh, she's glued to me for the day, apparently. So, um, I have it set to the square wave. I was told that square waves kill things. And the sine wave on the right is used for, like, sending healing, or say you want to manifest something. Um, but you could also use the square wave to, like, remove blocks out of the way for something you want, maybe. Maybe it works. This is all, um, I don't know if the word would be subjective. I don't know if that's the right word. Probably not. But it's all, you know, um, you never know what is or isn't going to work. So I'm pretty much open to trying anything. So what I'm going to do is, and, and I'll show you basically what you do. Um, so because I'm doing a cold scan, now a cold scan is finding the rates with, um, sorry, a cold scan is finding the rates without, um, but you're basically making up the rates. You, you cold scan for them based on if you get a stick on the plate or not. And I'm going to show you um, everything I'm doing. You may not, you still may not understand what any of this is. And you could Google radionics and get a better understanding of what it is better than I can explain it to you. So uh, I'm not the, always the best at explaining stuff. So let me see. Let me make sure I got everything into frame. See that one. No, my cockatiel is biting the um, pieces of paper. No, Aria. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is, oops, this is the well. So I will put my. Uh, it's actually a trend or a desire, the the outcome I want. I'm going to put it into my well there. Wait, let me see something really quick. Oh, I need to add one thing to this. Can you like that? Aria. She's just being herself. I should put decreased nodule in my... My right breast. There we go. Okay. So, with Aria's help... Oops. I'm taking these. I'm putting these in the witness well and then I hope you can see all this I need a different tripod okay so the cold scan on the KRT what you do is you set these to zero not to zero sorry you set the left side to zero and you set the right side to 100 now I 
I need both of my hands for this, so that is why I have this set on a tripod. But as you can see, the left is on zero and the right side is on 100. So what this is doing is this is di basically this is dialing into what I want, and it's um, in a sense maybe quantum entangling me with that desired outcome. It's, I guess physics do this in here. Okay, so anyway, and this uses scalar waves, scalar technology. Alright, so let me show you what I'm doing now. Is this the correct one? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm not turning this on yet. Now what I'm going to do is turn this on. The bank is not actually on yet, completely. Um, it is in a way. So, if I ran it, say I had some numbers here and I was running it. This is being run passively. It's only when you turn on um, the amp and the green lights on that it's being run um, electronically. So right now I'm just getting the, um, the rates for it. So what I'll do is, um, let's see, what did I say? So I think this, not allowed, but in my mind. Um, uh, I can remember these. Let's see, decrease and so on. Press and go on. Okay. So, and then I turn this, and I try to get, and then I get a stick when it's the correct one. Uh, those are the numbers I got. I'm not like a highly advanced at this kind of stuff. Ed Kelly's like the super best at this. Uh, and he's very, very knowledgeable. So, so now what I'm going to do is, oh wait, I have to test the general value. So I'm going to ask, let's, let me I'm going to ask what is GV? And Okay, so I'm getting a GV of that. What that is, is it's telling me um, this is how, how high it is for success rate. Now, I think because I'm trying to kill something and get rid of something, um, I would want the, I still want the general value to be 100, I think, to let me know that it's being effective. So I need to figure out what can I add to this to bring the, uh, the GV up. So let me see, what do I have available? Okay, so I have, oops, I have quartz crystals. So I'm going to take my quartz crystal and I'm going to put that in there and see if that raises the GV. Aria, what are you doing? Come on, get on my shoulder. Okay, so we're going to try it again. Okay, uh, it did go up, but not as much as I would like it to. So now I'm going to take a Herkimer diamond. They're not real diamonds, they're just crystal. Anyway, uh, bumps up the power to whatever crystal it's next to. So I'm going to put a Herkimer diamond in there with the quartz crystal and test the GB again. Okay, I got the GV way out there. Aria, you're not helping. Come here. I know you think you're helping. You're just not helping. I appreciate them. Okay. So, um, this is Reiki uh, that I potentized on these. So, I'm going to try adding these and see if I can push the GV up even higher. I did not lock the potencies on those. Basically, um, that is a potentizer. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. It, it's, it locks, it's not locking it. it, it's imprinting something onto something else. And if you lock it on, then there's a greater chance of it staying on there. So let's try this again. Well, I mean, if you lock it on there, then it will stay on there. It's like locking a door. Okay, 
show you. Okay, so I got the G, oh, sorry, about 100, which means this should be effective when it runs. Oh, yeah. So, um, now what I want to know is how long do I run it for? So, um, do it seconds, minutes. So, it looks like uh, I'll be running it for minutes. So, so I'll ask how many minutes am I going to run it for? Now, if I say one minute and then my finger is just gliding across, it means I'm not going to be running for minute, one minute. When I get a stick at whatever minute I say is how long I should run it for. So one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, five minutes. It looks like five minutes. So. Five minutes. So, oops. Let me do this again. Should probably run it. Wait a minute. I need to check, test with this still. Let's see. Let me do this. Run the signal generator right on. Yes. Okay. So, you're running it for five minutes. So now it's on. Flip the green switch. Set the timer for five minutes. I'm gonna let it run for five minutes and turn this off and then I will be back for part two with a new video because this is 16 minutes long, almost 17 minutes long.